So today I will show you how to get Fallout New Vegas to run properly on Linux. So first things first we're going to do is install Proton-7.1 GE2 for Steam. So we're just going to download the .tar and then we're going to wait for it to finish downloading. But while it's downloading we're going to go to our home, go to our Steam, or just go wherever your Steam is located. And then after that, we're going to go to Steam once again, and then we're going to go to CompatiTools.d. If that isn't there, just create one exactly titled like that. As you can see, I already have Proton-7.1-E-2, but what you would do is you would open this up, and then you would extract the files into the CompatiTools.d directory. And once that is done, you're going to... Um, restart steam of course and then you're going to go into open up steam and then go to our fallout new vegas here go to properties go to proton underscore use underscore wine 3d equals one and then after that you're going to go to compatibility you're going to click the little checkbox here forced to use a specific steam play compatibility tool and you're going to click you're going to open down this drop down box menu and you're going to click proton dash 7.1 dash ge dash 2 and then once that's all done, you can click launch. And it might take a little bit, by the way. But it should launch up, which is good. Change the options to whatever you like here. Um, I'm just going to select high in general. And then I'm just going to keep it in windowed and for this tutorial. And then I'm going to show you what's next. Then after that, we're going to go to our mod folder here. And then we are going to install Fallout New Vegas Patcher. So what you're going to do is just obviously go to the Fallout New Vegas 4 gigabyte Patcher. By the way, all the files I have will be included. Um, anyway. But what you want to do that is extract it, and then you want to drag and drop it to the Fallout New Vegas uh, Steam game directory, and then you're just gonna run the um, Linux executable, and then you might get a prompt. I ran it before, but you uh, you might get a prompt saying, "Are you sure you want to run this?" Click yes, and then it should create a Fallout New Vegas like backup exe as a kind of like a signal that it correctly ran. Uh, but other than that, that should be pretty good, and we'll move on to our next one. But if you want further pr uh, confirmation that your game is patched here, um, you're going to open up where this directory is located. You're going to just go type in dot slash forward slash and fallout new vegas or mv patcher, and then it will tell you or not if fallout new vegas.exe is already patched. Then after so, we are going to install new vegas script extender. It's following instructions from the New Vegas Script Extender GitHub. Um, what we're going to do is just we're going to copy our files here. Go once again to our, by the way, you want to download the latest version. My bad, you want to download the latest version of Script Extender, I guess. And, um, which I will link below. But then once you download that, and copy <laughs> stuff within the f unextracted folder. And then go to our New Vegas directory here and then just paste it in there right into and then it should finish and according to this if we have already installed the 4 gigabyte patcher for Linux or really just for gig for gigabyte patcher in general then we should have no problem so should we just should just be able to launch up from the new Fallout New Vegas in general so let's give it a minute here Then after so, we're just going to hit play. This is going to launch. And just give it a minute. And to know that we installed Fallout New Vegas Script Extender, we're just going to press our tilde key. And now we see XNVSE is installed. So this is great news so far. And then after so, we are going to install one tweak, which is... Um, for us, uh, it would help us with the alt-tapping issue with New Vegas and just a few other things having to do with Windows um, and all that. Not Windows, the operating system. Windows as in like a, a window displaying information. Anyway, so let's dive right into it. 
So, according to the README, we are going to go into our NVSE folder here within the one tweak NVSE. Go to our plugins, select our files here, copy, go to our Fall New Vegas game directory, go to data, and since previously we installed New Vegas script extender, we're going to go right into here and we are going to create a directory here and be careful to be uh, case sensitive. Capital P, lowercase l u g i n s and then open that up and then we're just going to paste in our files here and then finally the last thing we're install is d3 d9 or aka uh, a frame limiter which should help us in the end with our um frame rate issues in our mouse movement so if you don't know Bethesda kind of has a bit of aneurysm when you have high frame rate and that causes the physics to be a little wonky so here's a nice little frame limiter so we're just going to get right to that and the installation is pretty simple all you got to do is just copy the files from here to our Fall New Vegas directory just open where the executable is located paste it and that's all you have to do now here we can if we open up the uh, what we just put in here the anti-lag.cfg you can change the frame limit here here you want but I'm just going to keep it at 60 frames a second and one last thing we're going to do here is we are going to copy and paste um, something into our fallout default config which will right here follow to underscore default dot any sorry I should configure earlier I meant any um, which will help with our mouse movement as well as you might notice if you ever played Fallout New Vegas on Linux before installing these mods um, it gets a little wonky with the mouse like it gets a little accelerated so we're just going to solve that problem here so once you open it up we're just going to um, scroll down to where you see controls I'm just actually just going to control find that controls there you go I've already pasted in but all I do is just paste in these four little lines here. Um, yeah, something like that. And that should help us. All right.